Did you know that the brain plays a big role in determining when and why we eat? We're talking about hormones, the brain, and the science of weight loss on this episode of My Weight Live. All right, Dr. Rubino, so we know that our brain is working against us when it comes to weight loss, Correct. which is why so many people do regain the weight that they lose on a diet. Talk about the treatments that are available that can kind of counteract that those biological processes. Yeah, so I mean, I think there's, you know, two fundamental treatments that are targeting physiology. So one is the development of medications, of which there are many different medications uh, now, and, and we're very excited about the future for more medications, and then also gastric bypass or gastric sleeve. I think what some people don't really realize about the surgeries for weight loss is that you're changing hormones with those surgeries. So I think originally many people thought, and then I think it takes a while for everyone to understand, is that by making the stomach smaller, right, you're just decreasing the amount. But what it actually turns out is with food being delivered farther down into the small intestine, you get different hormones that are then telling the brain, we're full, we're satiated, they regulate sugar, et cetera, all right? So hormones are still involved, even with surgery. There are several different ways that medicines have been targeted to help with weight loss, all right? One is just to affect the absorption of food, okay? The other is within the brain called neurotransmitters, which are, are, are signaling basically on the reward pathways or the hunger pathways. And now we're looking at reproducing sort of what we saw with gastric bypass, which is can we make drugs to mimic the gastrointestinal hormone feedback? And that's where we have some, some new drugs that are coming out and being approved. So what's important to understand is that when we're talking about medical treatment, the idea is targeting the physiologic regulation at the level of the brain with medicine. And we'd like to thank Novo Nordisk for their support of this program. Novo Nordisk is not responsible for the content of the show, nor have they influenced it in any way.